Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna be reviewing the Makeup Forever Velvet Skin Foundation. I already opened it on my Instagram, as you guys already saw. It's from Influencer, the books, Makeup Forever. And this foundation, it claims to be a 24 hour proof, available in 40 shades. Also, it's an oil free formula, which visibly reduces your pores. And y'all know that is up in my alley because, hello, I have acne scars and my pores are pretty big you see me in person so i wash my face wash my hands you already know the drill and i'm gonna use the juno and co sponge this one is the peter thomas raw skin to die for so it is tinted it does look like a little tint i'm just gonna grab a little bit put it on my finger and i'm gonna go ahead and just put in a little bit mostly in my t-zone Let's go ahead and shake this primer, I mean foundation, and put some here. Ooh, she's thick. She thick, guys. Damn, boy, he thick! Look, it's not even moving, look. Alright. I got this idea from Bretman Roth. He mentioned in some of his videos that he loves putting it first with his finger i forgot i wanted to do one side first do it first and just like smear it with his finger first and i'm just gonna be able to press it nicely let me get my mirror and i actually got a new elf a contour palette because the other one got rough guys it died on camera it looks pretty smooth but in person you can see it looks pretty dry i don't know about this one let me do the other side now okay so i think i'm gonna go ahead and try this again because it's too, it's so dry like i've looked and it's flaky like it looks good but it does not look good it has i see patchiness everywhere and especially like right here for example i have a little pimple and it's just patchiness all over it i think it's because i'm using a mattifying primer and then this is a mattifying foundation so i think it's just too much dryness for my face i'm gonna go ahead and try this again um, but this time I'm just gonna use my moisturizer and a moisturizing primer, water drop primer. This is the rose one. I've used it before and I really like this one, so I'm gonna use this one. I still see flakiness. I tried. I tried both ways and I still seem to have the dryness. And I even noticed it's not fully blended. Honestly, it doesn't let me. Now I don't know to blame the sponge because since this one does make the sponge drier. Let me go ahead and do my eyebrows now. I am taking the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pen and number five. So let's see how it works with my eyebrows and I'll get back with you guys. Pretty dry but better than with the mattifying primer. I'm seeing kind of like my natural oils are kind of seeping already which is helping blend it, but you can see my crease in here. So let me, gonna, let me go ahead and put my concealer. This one's from Revolution. Now let me go ahead and put some contour. I'm taking my e.l.f. contour palette. I always get this shade. I literally buy the entire palette just for this one. So the contour was able to blend pretty good actually, I'm so impressed. And there is a no panty, panty. There is no patchiness, which I really love that. I'm gonna go ahead and take my concealer. So hopefully once I put the powder, it's not gonna make it very dry, the foundation. Sit for about a minute or two and I'll take it off. So I just removed the setting powder and it just made everything super dry <laughs> let me go ahead and do a makeup look really quick and i'll come back see like maybe let's just give it a little bit of time it's gonna get better 
hopefully it gets better because I'm not seeing it right now. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back and I did this cute little e-girl Valentine's Day theme look because y'all seem to really like the blue one that I did on my Instagram. So if you want to check this look out. Final thoughts on the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. It's not my favorite. Honestly, as soon as I put it on, it just, it was too dry for me. And that says a lot because my skin, my skin is oily guys oily it was just so dry and flaky and it looked patchy and i mean now like hours later maybe it's just because it might look good if in camera but it just looks so dry guys and i even tried both ways my mattifying primer and a hydrating primer and it just looks so dry so Mm, I'm gonna have to give this one a thumbs down guys because it just didn't work for me and I was shocked So those are my thoughts on this foundation. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye